Hi, I'm Richard Rose, the Artistic Director of the Tarragon Theatre. The question I asked our playwrights, what in our current times inspired you to write a playlet about the future, about the world a year from now? Uh, one big question about the future that I wanted to explore in my playlet was uh, the idea of social intimacy and what that's going to look like in the future. And it's interesting to me because compared to places like in Latin America or in Europe where people hug and kiss to greet each other, um, Canadians aren't really known for sort of social intimacy, but uh, I feel so much how people crave it, going over to each other's houses and hanging out in the neighborhood and um, seeing each other and touching each other and sharing food together. And uh, what that's going to look like in the future is really uncertain, especially for us as theater artists where everything is based around the kind of intimacy of sharing space together. And so I wanted to sort of take a look at what it looks like, what it's going to take for all that fear to kind of dissipate um, and become weaker than the very strong desire we have to be with each other. And I think we're living in a moment of enormous opportunity. Um, the shared catastrophe has had one positive side effect. We all have our inner lives back. We can think and feel together. And I think it's a collective opportunity for all of us to examine the world we're living in right now and to think about how we'd like to change it in preparation for other catastrophes, one of which is going to be permanent, climate change. So in this moment of thinking and feeling together, our inner lives intact, that's a moment I want to write toward. And I did. So my inspiration to write about the future came from a llama named Winter. Um, since this all started, I've been really fascinated with all the crazy rumors and news flashes about potential cures and beginnings of vaccines. Uh, and I read about a four-year-old llama named Winter, who researchers had vaccinated against other coronaviruses like SARS. And she produced antibodies, which basically neutralized those viruses. And when the team tested those antibodies on COVID-19 in a lab environment, not human trials, obviously, uh, they were effective as well. So, of course, I chose to interpret this material in a very dark and also very silly way because I find myself really wanting to write almost exclusively super dumb jokes uh, at the moment. And the word llama is really fun to say. Um, and I know we're a long way off from creating a vaccine from llama antibodies, but I'm hopeful that in as short as a year from now, because of the brilliant scientists and medical professionals who think outside the box, that we'll have the building blocks of a vaccine from something as unexpected and hilarious as a llama. Hi, my name is Chloe Hung and I wrote the playlet called Isomatch. I was inspired to write about um, the possibilities of dating first because uh, I am a single woman myself and it's a conversation that I've had many times with uh, various friends of mine. It's a odd thing, an odd sort of side effect that has come with isolation is what do you do uh, when you meet somebody during this time? How do you go about it? Uh, we live in very dangerous and um, a difficult time right now and it, it's going to be difficult for a while so I wasn't that interested in writing something that was very dark and that's just where I'm at and so I wanted to focus on something that I thought was a very amusing and funny side effect to our isolation and one of those things that sort of seem a bit more trivial right now um, but has had very odd uh, circumstances and effects um, is dating in isolation. So uh, that's where I drew the inspiration from and um, hope you enjoy this playlet and all the others coming your way. Uh, hope you all stay safe and thank you so much. Mm -hmm.